Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to see how we can create Azure DevOps repo and how we can connect with Visual Studio. And why we want to do that one? Because repo is the place where we check in our code, whatever code while development is happening, we check in and then we set up a lot of policy over there, like simple policy would be that how the code review will happen, how the sign up will happen. And using this repo, now we can have CI, CD and other things. So that is why a repo is required. So let's go ahead and create this repo. So in this demo, let's create a new repo and connect with Visual Studio. So I will go ahead in project setting and then I will go into repository section and I will create a git with a repository name ADF demo and add a readme file will be there. So let me create this repository. Now I can see I have repository with all this policy and the settings and policy so we can see that right now we have a lot of policy which is off we can see a little bit later that how to enable how to set up branch policy and other things we will see so all these are there if we go into repository section we can see that now one more repository came adf demo and this has main uh, branch let's create a branch also we can say that user branch users ram and then we can say that adf right and let's create this one so our first branch has been created the user branch has been created based out of main let's go ahead and add this one this uh, repository to our Visual Studio or Visual Studio code. We can do by a multiple way. So if we go into the setting, uh, we can go and see how to connect that one in repository section, how we can clone that, uh, we can take and then clone that one, how to clone into VS code, how to do all this. And if we go into Visual Studio, and once Visual Studio is started, let's go and click on clone repository. We can copy this, link provided into clone repository and paste it here that way also there is a way to do that one git repository url or another way that if we want to browse all the repo then we can click on azure git uh, devops repo and based on depending upon whatever uh, linked we have with our account all this server will be listed and if we go into dev.azure.com we have couple of that one and this organization we set up and there is a demo project and in demo project we have couple of repos so we can select this one also and say that clone so both way works depending upon how we want to access that that will work and then it asks for your password and details you have to provide that one and then we can uh, able to connect this repository from visual studio and right now if we see that uh, we are connected to main branch we can select that and go to a remote and then see we have created a user branch we can go and click on that and now we are connected with repository uh, user branch itself now if we want to add any files here suppose i want to add a new file test file right and let's say that this is file uh, i want to have a file over there and this is file is there now if i want to commit this changes i can go into git commit changes and i can select this file that hey, i have added this file I can go ahead and say that let me stage this file and in the stage section I can see my file is there. Now I can say that first commit or whatever comment I want to put over there then I, we can put there and before doing that one we need to configure our username and other things so we can configure that whatever name we have our username and other things now let's stage this one now we can stage now if you see right now one outgoing and zero incoming if we start push this one then I click on the push button it will 
push from our stage to branch if we go and now if we see into this repo uh, we created this repo and now if we see the history right now there is no if this was the first one if we go into our user branch which we created we can see that you updated user branch adf just now and if we see that details about that one what i added test file so test file added not depending upon need we can create the pool request to uh, user to main and we can say that users and work item we can have and limit that one. we'll see how to create a new pull request and how to add work item and reviewer and people into next video so for this video i wanted to cover that how we can create the repo how we can link with visual studio thank you Thank you.